So, your parents don't mind me coming over, I take it? They even offered for you to sleep over. Ah, uh, is that so? Yes, here we are. Th this is your house? Yes. It's huge! True. <sighs> Jeez, I really need to stop being surprised by the size of these guys' homes. They are rich after all. Um, yeah, that's me. Little? I mean, I know everyone is shorter than Skika Jen, but I'm actually tall for a girl myself. In fact, I'm taller than you, lady. I is that so? These guys are Sakiko's parents? Not only are they so normal, they're just so darn happy and loving. Thank you. All right. Oh, uh, wait, would you like me to help you with that? Not really. This is my room. H here, let me get the door since your hands are full. All right. A little thank you wouldn't kill you. Anya mask, not surprised. But is that an effigy doll? It's freaking nailed to the wall. Was she trying to curse someone? Um, do you practice Ushino Taki Mairi? Yes. Remind me not to piss her off, if that's even possible. <laughs> cool. You really think so? Um. Did you learn the practice as well, or anything similar, in your Miko training? As a matter of fact, I kinda did. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> That's cute. Huh? When you laugh like that, your giggle is cute. Well, I think your smile is pretty cute. I usually get sexy comments, but cute is a nice change. So, your parents... Not exactly what I expected. What do you mean? <laughs> They're so normal and sweet. They also are a bit both short and are at least normal height. You don't exactly look related to them. I'm not. What? They adopted me when I was eight going on nine. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Don't be sorry, I'm not. They do seem like good parents though. I suppose they are. I am spoiled by them. Take my room, for example. They had it remodeled for me completely. Yeah, I notice how it's not like the rest of the house. It's kind of like the cafe we went to. We should go again, the two of us. Suki-kun, what are your intentions of getting close to me? What are you hoping to gain? What do you mean? Unless it was a lie. You said it had nothing to do with me helping you with the talisman. So what relationship do you seek from me? Good question. What do I want from her? Protection? Friendship? Something else? I mean, I can't say that I don't find her attractive. Hell, I fangirl just over her smiling. So what am I looking for? A partnership? She has blatantly shown interest in me. But what do I have to gain from a relationship of that sort? Do I want to date her? Crap, I'm keeping her waiting. 
I think I'm interested in dating you, Nishimura Sakiko. I was wondering if that was the way you felt about me, that if you wanted to be my girlfriend. She has such a lovely look on her face. She's even smiling at me. I want to. I want to be your girlfriend. <laughs> really? I couldn't tell. Hmm? I'm teasing you. It's called sarcasm. Uh. Well... Do you know about Yuri? Girl love? I think I went the wrong direction. Well, one time you had said I was cute. I did that more than once. And then we went to a cafe together. We did. And you were helping me with the whole demon talisman thing. I am. And I'm very grateful for that. You said that doesn't have anything to do with it. Well, it doesn't... You just seem to care about me. You even let me come to your house. Do you have any interest in people like this often? No. So I'm pretty much the only one? Yes. You do care about me, right? I'm not misinterpreting that. I think I do. Well, and I think I care too. Uh, about you, that is. I want to get to know you more. I think I want to get closer to you. Closer? Maybe as your girlfriend? Okay. Huh. We can be girlfriends. So, just like that, you want to date me? Sure. Uh, yay! Guess that means we're dating? Guess so. Don't sound too thrilled about it. But I guess that's just part of her weird charm, right? Oh, screw it. She has such a lovely look on her face. She's even smiling at me. Will you be my girlfriend? I assume you mean as in the dating kind and not a girl that's a friend. Yeah. Yes, I like that. You would like that? See, Kiko can like things? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, she does like occult and gothic stuff after all. It includes what we just did but not too frequently, and you being around me, then yes, I would like that very much. So, the talisman, that is the original reason you came here. Yeah, I have it here. I've been looking through my books, but couldn't find anything that really related to the words on the talisman. Well, except for talisman sickness but it didn't make sense in comparison to yours. I see. So does that mean you can't help and I brought this for nothing? I could have missed something. Also, I can try to contact the demon behind it. What? Sakiko-chan, no! That is dangerous! As long as we stay in the circle I cast, we will be safe. Have you ever done anything like this before? Yes. Exactly! See? You don't know what forces you're dealing with! Wait, did you just say yes? Yes. 
You have summoned or contacted a demon before. Yes. Why on earth did you need to do something like that? Why do people need to practice religion? Why do serial killers need to kill? Why do painters need to paint? Some of those things are really bad analogies, if you can call them that. You can trust me. I can do this. And it's a hundred percent safe. Yes. All right, but if I feel like it's getting hairy, we stop right then. What's going on here? Why am I being summoned? It worked! Spider, salt. Huh, now things are getting interesting. You want to talk to me, do you? Who are you? Cuckoo. It says so on the talisman. You're crazy? <laughs> that's one way to look at it. No, that's not what I meant. Learn to read, kids. It says clock. That's what you can call me. Clock. Salt and Spider are our nicknames. If Salt and Spider were by our names, and the word clock was by Jan, does that mean his name is Jan? You're really Jan, aren't you? What does it matter? To you, I am Clock. What do you want from me besides a guessing game of my name? So I'm right, aren't I? Doesn't matter if you are or aren't. What do you want from me? To go. I'm off duty. But you can't, because we got you. I isn't that right? Not really. I called him, but I can't keep or control him. That's right, kiddies. I'm just gonna tick-tock out of here, if you don't mind. What? No, not fair! Just like life. Damn it! That was a waste of time. Wait, you have his name, doesn't that help? No, not really. Damn. Do you really want this back? I can keep it to see what more I can do. What? Like... Catch that jerk while he's on duty? Maybe. Oh, Sakiko-chan. Yes? Thanks. Sorry I wasted your time. I didn't need to come here after all. Guess it wasn't really a waste. I have you as a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't my plan for the day, but I can say I'm glad it happened anyway. Mmm, you're peculiar, right? <laughs> That's not bad. I'll protect you. Thank you. I wonder what happened to Kiko's birth parents, or if she even knew or remembers them. Was she abandoned? Did they die when she was a child? Perhaps. Whatever happened to them, whatever they did to her, is why she is the way she is. Would it be bad of me to ask? <laughs>